guys welcome back to my channel it is Friday June 9th I think the June 9th I don't know days blend when you don't have a work schedule anymore am I right yeah so I thought I'd start off the blog vlog again with the blog Janet vlog talking about something that's interesting so when I was in chapters the other day, I came across this book. It was called The Feminist Baby. And I'm going to insert a photo of me and Emily with the book right here. And this book, I was <laughs> taken aback by. I thought it was really neat. I didn't buy it, though, because it was $20. And for you moms out there, $20 for a book like a kid's book, like those cardboard kid's book. No, I'm not going to spend $20 on it. Even if it's at the liberal baby, I still wouldn't buy it. So anyway, so this book was really interesting. Um, and if I find it, I'll link it below, but I don't know if I can find it. You can just Google it. It's called The Feminist Baby. So it was really, really interesting. I was reading through the book and it's like, it was things like the baby can do this. Feminist baby can can wear any color she wants and feminist baby can do that. And I thought it was a really, really neat book. And for myself, I consider myself very much um, a feminist. This, this channel will not be a political channel because um, everybody has their political views and at the end of the day, whatever, right? This book, I was really impressed with it. I was really, I was like, this is amazing. This is like, who wrote this? This is great. And I think for me, I'm going to intentionally instill those feminist ideals to Emily. But more so, if we were gifted with a boy, or if we are gifted with a boy in the future, I will instill the d ideals of feminism in that child. Because I think it's important to teach your child that no matter what your age, gender, and especially sex is, that you should be paid the same or you should be treated the same as your male counterparts and that's really really important and I think that those values for me personally is very very important to instill in Emily um, and I know a lot of people will think that so sometimes feminism is kind of this borderline dirty word it really is where you think of a, a feminist as a no bra wearing flag waving burning hippie flowers on the head which all that's fine <laughs> Not my thing. I like bras. But that's not how it is nowadays. A feminist is just have the ideals that, that women should be paid the exact same as men and given the exact same opportunities. And to this day it's still it's it's not it's not happening. Um, in Canada, women are still paid um, 88 cents on the dollar to their male counterparts for the exact same job. Now, those statistics may have changed, but last time I checked, that's what it was. And that's a little bit disturbing, um, you know, being paid, you know, 12% less than a man because uh, you have a vagina. It's a little bit weird. Um, and, you know, males are not better than females, and I don't think that females are better than males. Um, I think everybody just should be treated equally across the board. So this book was really interesting because it instills that the word feminist and the word, the word feminism into a young girl and over to a young baby and so you're already teaching them this stuff and I thought that was amazing. Um, personally for me I'm not going to spend $20 on a book. I will buy her other books that um, that 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 show the ideals of feminism um, when she's a bit older and she can uh, understand it but I thought it was very interesting that it was an infant book that was meant for the zero to two year um, age and, and and it was and it was top shelf it was like right there it was right there in chapters it was amazing and I thought that was a really really cool. So anyway, today is Friday, which is always fun because it's the weekend. And anyway, how's your guys' day going? How's it going out there? Are you guys doing good? I'm doing great because Emily is down for a nap right now, her morning nap. And then we're going to go, as usual, we're going to go for our walk. And I will check in with you guys once we're back. So I've just tried to feed Emily, and she should be hungry because she is like 10 actually it's 10 30 now and she has not eaten since I think it was about 7 30 when she finished eating so she should be hungry and I made 180 mils and look it's only at 160 what the heck I gotta feed her like I keep on telling her I gotta feed her she's on the grid like Louis CK says they know I have her I need to feed her and she won't eat so my trick is my trick is now, what I do is I put her in the extra saucer because the extra saucer is the best thing to put her in to tie her out so she's hungry and then she wants to eat that or tummy time. 
Anyway, there she is right here. There she is. She's playing her little games. She's so excited. She gets so excited in this thing. But all I need her to do is to eat. Emily, you need to eat. I need to feed you. They know we have you. Hi, dear. Where's my smiles? Where's the smiles? Where are they? Where are they? Where's the smiles? Where are the smiles? I'm going to try to feed her now. I'm going to try to feed her and hopefully she eats. Because I just want to get go for the walk. Get on with the day. So I'm going to feed her and I will check in with you guys in a bit. Do you? Whoa. Ghost Janet. Look at that. Like, look at this lighting. Like, man. Ooh. Ew. Anyway, let me go where I don't look like I'm pale. That's better. Anyway, I am going to try to feed her again. She needs to eat. Eat your food. Like, don't you just want to tell, eat your freaking food. They know we have you. You're on the grid. You're on the grid. Anyway, eh, I don't know. Mom's school squirrely, I think, when they're by themselves in the house for 12 hours by themselves. I just, I'm talking to a camera. Strange that is. I don't know. Anyway, she's talking. She's talking to me too. Hi guys, welcome back. And I've got my favorite friend here. Why can't you? Starbucks. Yes, please. I love Starbucks. This gives me energy. And I could do the jazz hands all day, all night. Anyway, so I thought I'd talk about something. I was on my walk. We just got back. And I was thinking about some things. As you do when you walk. Because I don't listen to uh, headphones or anything when I walk. So I like to think. And that's usually where I think. And then it got me thinking about positivity. And I have just been trying to be less negative, more positive, and especially like this week. I've tried to, to think, whenever I think of something negative, I try to think of something else that's positive. So for example, if I'm feeling crappy about my weight, I just think of, well, isn't it amazing that I grew that tiny human in my body? I grew a human inside of me, so give yourself a break, Janet. And I was also thinking, like, just how awesome it is to just be a mom. And me and Alan, we didn't, we didn't necessarily have infertility, but we struggled with getting pregnant, and we did have to get help from a doctor. And one of these days, I will go on and tell you exactly, because it's not a secret for us. For us, our, our, fertil our fertility journey is actually uh, very public and very open. And I remember going through like this, not this time last year, but about, you know, a year and a half ago, about all those negative pregnancy tests and month after month after month after month and seeing everybody else's pregnancy announcements that that started trying, you know, long before us and people giving birth and it was really hard. And so now here I am in a place where I have my baby and I'm just so lucky and so grateful. And I think that it is really important to embrace that and try to embrace a more positive attitude and that's kind of what I've been trying to do so I've been trying to you know get rid of the negativity get rid of the negative thoughts get rid of just negative everything in my life and try to keep it positive some people don't understand how hard it is to have a baby sometimes and how much heartache can can come before so much joy and it is so unbelievably amazing to be a mom and I just, I keep on thinking back to the times where, you know, it'd be negative pregnancy test after negative pregnancy test after negative pregnancy test. And Alan would always tell me the same thing. He'd always say, well, you know, it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And he's like, once you get your baby here, you're going to realize that, you know, that was meant to be and that that's your baby. And I truly believe that. And, you know, it just gave me some comfort. But if any of you are struggling with any sort of infertility or you're struggling with anything like that and, and you're in the middle of that journey and, you know, just remember that at the end of the journey, you know, you get this little tiny precious little human and it's awesome. It's just, it's great. It's a great joy to be a mom. And I didn't really realize or understand that term until I became a mom. So I think positivity 
can go a long way. I'm gonna feed the tiny human. She, our last feeding, you saw. It's a battle of baby versus mom and the bottle. And I need to win because I need to feed her. God damn it, I need to feed her. Right now, she doesn't even look hungry. She, why just eat the food? Just eat the food, shove it in your face. Bah. So do any of you guys come home and for those of you who have pets, do you like just see them sleeping where they're sleeping and feel so incredibly jealous? I do right now. Emily won't go down for a nap. I'm super tired. And the tiny pile of anger, also known as Gus, the cat, he looks like the most comfortable piece of garbage ever. Like, look at this guy. Like, how more comfortable can you get? Look at him. And it's not fair. All I want to do is sleep. All I want to do is lay in the bed. And he won't sleep on that blanket. I put that blanket out for him every day. I don't know. Just, he looks comfortable. Look comfortable. Anyway. Hi guys, so Emily is down for her nap and I am just on the old patio enjoying my rest of my Starbucks and also trying to read my book. Here she is. Lisa Jackson, after she's gone. Been trying to read it since Emily was born. Eventually I think I'll be able to read it. But anyway, I thought I'd end the vlog here for today. And it's Friday today for me. It's probably going to be Sunday once this is posted for you guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button or the like button for more of these videos. And let me know what you think. Thanks guys. Bye.